Okay. Lullaby Lay of the Lifted. Mu, 123rd part. His dreaming head put on by departure. A house moved into, a plane gotten on. Piano mallets hammered his ear. The tolling he'd have given his arm to translate. Chime deep green grew out from. Urge that he wanted verdure. The white planet lush without the toll we exacted. We, the philosophic posse, we, the ant and fractious crew. We, the undombolous onslaught, thought so hard our heads hurt. Hair fallen away like leafage, dropped hints heaviness, dread. My own head fell away from it, put upon by splits, times toll and fractious too. The man who had been standing keeled over, too tall to be seen only an instant before, heavy cloud cushioning his jaw. Who was he and why was he there? Then they were asking, the mnemonic envoy we found ourselves part of, we them taken off, taken over, they the excluded, we we might have been. Who was he, we wanted to know. Why fallen, why was his name bloated, Adam? Why was it said, his head moved ours? In remote lore, he woke up vomiting blood, signs in his belly of what was to come. Or he dreamt he vomited blood and shook himself awake. A book of what came up the book he wrote, a knife to the stomach, it seemed. Bloody or if not oblique, efficacies return, inefficacious dreams meaning brought up short. One version had it, he looked at his legs and felt sorry, looked at his legs and fell. Rage was lost, efficacies, offspring, myth we grew up with. Others had it otherwise. Some said an uncle's death explained it. Is the head in the clouds that fell from the clouds, rain it's breaking up, the new way of it, a blessing they believed it to be, blood elder of whom rain and mist were the remembrance. Ever after that, coming down, blood, munificence, what emolument, revenant, remit. The fallen man fell short of the fire we camped around, hovered above it, a low-lying mist. Adam evaporated, we heard it called, reminiscent myth in whose cloud we congregated, annals of what said we wandering tribeless ever on the outskirts sprung. We counseled ourselves, don't be sad, or we said, be sad, but unafraid. Blood rain fall though it did. Rank beneficence, myth, in whose diminutive light we went round and round, recriminant, ethnic demur. We said, oh, what said we? And what we meant was, in the end, it would all abide. Blood rain lift, a pinched hem left unraveling, red Eucharistic mist. Was it something someone made up, we wondered? Could anyone fall that far? 12 by 12 L's the hole he'd have made on impact. A square for some reason no one could say. 12 by 12 L's, 12 by 12 anagogical cubits, ancient seas redoubt it seemed. Myth of the fallen, made up telling, the telling made real. Myth of the lifted. If ethnic we met, I was there to take my place, as were all of us. All to take our places, there we were. There was a box the songs came out of, and there was a box we'd all be in. Death peeking out from one of them, inside my slapped head, owning both. Twelve by twelve, the tale of a mouthing made real deep kiss known as consequence. Mythic mystery nine by nine. What did these numbers mean? We were wondering, slapping heads, slapped heads wrung with wonderment, sleight of hand, slip of tongue. 
a tall tale, born of rot gut swill, fumes to no one, if not pneumatic atom, a yarn someone had spun, eaten away at the edges. All of it, only sortilege, all, only anyone's guess, all what anyone knew, not knowing better. He was of the clamshell school of bone remnants, magnetic draw he drew down from heaven, intent he made heaven home. Mum was the word, no matter, he fell, no matter, we lifted him, no matter, the screw turned in his jaw. What said, hearsaw, what said, craw, no matter what law lay broken, waylaid, we were spun. Nice, Jane. Fred, would you like to read Song of the Undumbulu 145? Yeah, you're muted though, but you have to unmute. And I do want to talk to you about Adam and the Duncan, potential Duncan connection after we finish. The morning's horn extended a palmful of sand. I felt a dry sprig on my face, frozen moment, moment's omen, sleep's curtain kicked on top. I'd forgotten more about time than I could know. I got up knowing, cold duck, time the time I knew best, head bad beyond all hope, hand spread, sun, sand uncupped, hand extended. In the hollow of the morning's horn, I felt empty, crook of an arm around my back. I couldn't say whose, wishing it was my father, someone I knew at least. Again, I was the abandoned one. Hand extended, fingers flat, sand falling. The morning's horn hollow, abiding, unbeknown, something inside it unbound. Whatever I thought I knew, gone by the way, gone by the wayside. What I knew about time, I got up knowing better. There had been a fight between Robert and Mary, was all I knew. Names more echo than ever. Names meaning late, not meaning to. It was actually, I was only pretending. What I knew so simple, I'd gotten weary. Make believe made it more real. We sat on the couch eating crab, remembering Robert and Mary snug in the cul-de-sac. Duck weathering well, real, we wanted to say beyond compare. Beyond repair, I heard, misheard. We sat on the couch, copacetic, nothing such occurring to us. Down at the cafe, we made fun of the Eld Eldrum, down by Forth, by Bristol, tore up. Ripped, I'd say later, newly Dogen, calling them the dead, dying of thirst. Ripped words, ripped word skirt, altar cloth, tears enough to drown in. Twin ship, tearing, read it, wept. The morning's horns hollow, so had me, I sewed with crab light. Stitch, rhapsodic stitch, I apostrophized. So it was and so it went, blocked out in Taglio, back with a vengeance, Lone Coast imbroglio, south of Lone Coast. They who had only of late fallen in with our crew, Robert and Mary's break up all we knew, not since Peter and Melissa had it been so. Names less addressed than echo, insides lost, would be more than were. Names less than nomination. They were the kids hop and Sophia would, would have had had they had kids. The morning's horn, the morning horns, the morning's horns, nasal pitch, awakening memory. I was wondering why was it so? Mighty fine. I remembered reading on a rock outside Vancouver, far from the waterless river I grew up near, with or without import. I couldn't say. It was less an epiphany than a footnote. Quick reticence gone on by. Pent synonymy, loath to relate, reflected sun starlight, cement mix, would be water, back but only an instant, blinded me so soon. The more I thought it metaphoric, the more real it was again. Recollected sun, hard light, cement conduit, nominal water, river so dry we rode our bikes across. The morning's horn let sand, let sand run through our fingers, hollow, whatever would be, name 
would, whatever would be name, nomination, time, having on having in on it, we saw what we saw, but we're none the wiser. It wasn't we were being mystical. It wasn't we were meaning to be. It wasn't we were be, being anything that would frame it. Frames unflow our nemesis. Nominal wets, rain undone, we'd have had it. Name, name, something we saw. So went our song to the Santa Ana River. L odeless then, odeless then entreaty, water we'd beg, to, beg it to be. Later we laughed at the waterless river, sipping duck, crab claw sweetness as good as it got. Parched, liquorless ghosts. We were dry, the same drinkless dead. Their complaint threw back many for none of them. Death by thirst, what recourse? Death by thirst, thirst, what repair? The more I thought it metaphoric, the more real it was. A subtle something, a subtle beat, snuck up on me, a sudden, a sudden subtle pul pulse, abstract bossa nova, the morning's horn, the morning's horn's hollow, drifted over into static, sand in our palms, on our faces. Rubs would be washes raw strain. We were trying to get home, home gone was all I knew. We patted the heels of our hands together like Muddy said. We got operatic, rib cage theaters, wayfair recruits, backstage, cold duck time. We were in heaven without knowing it, trying to make heaven home. Messed up, made it break. Theaters, rib cage, twin. Mighty fine I felt. I stumbled, fell. I figured my foot hit a crack. What I wanted now bordered on quack, so, duck sonnets. I lay there, I took the pledge. Machine furtherance went on above my head, a grinding sound. I gnawed along the edges of thought. Gear meant gear, the morning's horn hollow my resort. Gear meant convenient gear, sand in the works no matter. Mesh, the horn's hollow exhumed. I took the horn's hollow's pledge fell, but got back up, cement river, would be water's enablement, all my refuge worry took wing. The erstwhile river tilted our glasses, concrete reverie it was we were in. The erstwhile river swelled our feet, little Oedipuses we joked, crab claws dangling from the sky overhead. The erstwhile river took away the floor, Duck sonnets made us bray like donkeys in a key the dead, the dead alone could hear. Less an epiphany than a crack, more like a discrepancy. Duck sonnets, dub sonnets, sound. An extrinsic tip on crooked, while the would be river dipped us in. Far out, far out. Okay. And Susan, do you want to read? 145 and a half. So Can you like, tell me what page? Sorry, uh, I got yes. lost. Page uh, 233. Oh, 233. Okay. Thank you. Song of the Andambolo. 145 and a half. And so I just want to apologize to Mr. Mackey for butchering, butchering his poem when I read it. Oh, stop, stop. We all read the best we can. It's not our work. We're cold reading it and we're reading as we go along. So I know, but you're recording. If he ever sees this, uh, it'd be so embarrassing. Oh, stop. We love you, the sound of your voice. We love your new haircut and everything is gonna be <laughs> nice. So I can't even say andom. Andom, andombulu? Okay, andombulu. Yeah, yeah. Just like, everyone's, just like everyone says it. 145 and a half. The morning's horn would not be done with me. It sat me down where shadows gathered. I sat with my mother on a bus, pulling into Hollywood, looking out the window at the Capitol Records building, as I did as a child. I was letting my body dictate my mood, though I was trying not to. I stared out the window grinning, 
no longer, no sooner grin than grimace. Grin, my late life shadowed. Smile, no matter I might. Don't look back, one of the av avatars told me. Don't look ahead, another one said. Bright, beautiful sky. Rough day we made of it. Some awaited below, it seemed. I'd ward off, wincing. We were pondering under post humus light. Itamar's latest maxim. Nothing matters, everything counts. Pinpoint window we peeped in through. Whatever adages work undone. My mother and me together again on the Greyhound bus. I sat looking out. I played my leg bone flute. Lytic limb, lyric lip. I looked in on myself looking out. A bit of skin stuck to the bone I blew on. I was inside and outside both. As though it were the morning's horn, hollow held me, an answering emptiness blew through the bus. Was it a bomb or a dream of one? I wondered rolling away, roll away umber, the shade I caught. A treated photo it might have been we were caught in. A flat feature come to life, blown back, or at least it seemed. I recollected that sonnet whispering, wouldn't it be nice? The madness of what might have been was back. Wouldn't it be nice? Repeated itself. So many times I lost count. Count long since no matter the morning's horns bell unrung. Or was it the un was ringing, I wondered. Head on fire, solen the word at once came to mind. Whatever it was needed a new way of looking. Pinpoint window, part C, part say. Says what saw rolled round and round. One love was on my lip, part spliff, part piccolo. The blessing un had come to be. There we were again, one again, again. I imagined I thought, Bus gotten on, if not train, gotten on, on again, ready but not. Our Zen tutorial, the river running waterless, runaway academy of not. Everything counts, nothing adds up. Itamar's new maxim. Where but imagined habitants, he quizzed us, whose if not, tenuous kin. He and Aja had lain like lovers, he said, heady with smells they'd never only smelled alone. Never not all, but into it. Never not at a remote. They between whom the river ran, only a cried out eye could see. They lay on the riverbed, thoughts nose open, sweats bouquet, their perfume. Sun above, they lay on the riverbed, abstract lay or libation, dry run, not so much as remembered kiss had been left, he went on. Why, I wasn't sure, nor was my mother, looking on. Un's new way of looking's do, it was, it occurred to me, rose but risen, faded on for an instant, flown. My mother was asking why we were there. Why was the man lecturing? Were we on the bus? Where on the, where was the bus? I was asking too. The blow through wa running through the bus. An aroused Inui. Portability's arrest. Blown away, we'd never see or we'd say by what it had 
I'll come to. Was what my mother being there meant blood counts, I wondered. Blood our implied anthem. Bus blood gone awry. Spears echo looped, run over. Blood was what counted and we cried. Dry blood. Spears antithetic reset. Meanwhile, Itamar lectured on. Fugitivity, he insisted, wasn't just getting away. Flight was being subject to being caught, carried back. Fugitivity's ha haunted side, he said it was, dry blood, tantamount to break a leg. I reflected bus might be short for busted. I thought the morning's horns, bounties, raw light. Itamar lectured on, something about dry soul that was wisest, what was best. A bit of Heraclitus, Clitus, he said. So again, we rent sang with our teeth clenched, left the butter notes out, make believe, made up orchestra, arc, as in boat, as in bus, as in busted, split, waterless reeds, high wood. Would. Excellent, Susan. Nicely <laughs> done. Gary, thanks for joining. We're at page 239. I'll read the next one and then um, and then after Lay of the Lifted again, you could end uh, the session. We recorded all but the first two poems. I'll talk about that when we're done. Lay of the Lifted again, Mu 125th part. Let the parts congregate and grow. We rolled over mumbling, dreamt encumbrances, real as we awoke, as though we were so much debris to be carted away, as though, as though, were unreal, mere wish. Not since Annunzio lay busted up had it been so clear. Sunlight on ice after a storm. Everything sparkled, but beautiful on the ubiquitous box, lit by shipwreck, we'd read, and so it seemed, rhapsodic resolve as it all fell apart. Abstract music, abstraction itself made more concrete. Box-headed exegete, box-headed ennui, box-head there been one's bequest. We gave it a loud shout, beginning to be there again. The inconsequence, it was notwithstanding. There was a we we were on our way toward regardless. No utopic elsewise, too utopic, a we we would eventually be. Let the parts congregate and grow, we got up insisting, a shout so loud it lifted us. Our feet left the floor, no matter it might have been mental at most. It was an abstract, inaudible ring shout. The inner walls of our heads, the track of our feet, the track our feet followed loud in some way that wasn't there yet. A sense of it yet to come. Late counsel came our way asking who were the we we meant. Everyone, we answered, emboldened by slogan light. A chicken bone piccolo emboldened by the wreckage we clung to, chirped in the attic above. The upper room, it could have been called, or it must have been, we were convinced. Grist, geist, gospel, gospel, geist, grist came out columning the rafters, piccolo insistence intransigent. Peace be upon it, we said, some sort of ritual we were in without knowing it, it seemed, knowing it not so much as sensing it, the seeming. Peace be upon it, we said again, gospel, grist, geist, prolegomenon. We were on our way. We would gather again, the promise went, prophecy we took heart from, gospel, geist, grist, gambit, Gambit, grist, geist, gospel, nth emanation, n minus one. No day without number, the chicken bone intimated. Grist, geist, gambit, gambit, geist, grist. Time ticked away, and we with it, we admitted. The piccolo would have nothing less. Geist, gambit, gambit, grist. The morning song we made of it. Mumble, though we did. Geist, grist. Gambit, guess, guess the chronic note we bent as we needed, we the stubborn consort, everyone again. 
The place it was we were in was knowable, we were told. Where we'd been and where it was we were going were knowable too. The Adam Cadmon had fallen, sparks flew. The chicken bone hoovered it, cocaine-like scooped it, makeshift nay, Kirkic nose flute, reed and rush once again, we hoped. Words didn't go there, we thought, wondering, was it that or they? They were already there, them already there as we ran after. The piccolo seconded our thought, though words not there, but on their way, the same as we were, soon come asymptote, soon come colloquy, soon we'd see it up close. What? Was the it, late council queried, knowing we were sure, but wanting it spelled out. I wish we'd have obliged, but we let fall away. Soon come comity. Soon they were asking again. What was it we'd end up all that close to? The day of the indefinite, we called it. We knew names headed there. Got there, maybe not. Knowing coaxed emotions whose underside we were. A soffit somewhere we hung from. So it was, or so it went, or so we said. Those eyes, that nose, that mouth, Huff interrupted, and eked out rhapsody on its way. Her hand rummaging under my shirt, he pushed, pure polity. Thus would it be when we got there we gathered, endearments wheel come true. No matter the weeping world tugged our coattails, it wasn't what we expected from Huff. No matter a heart beat under every chest bone, no matter how much it proved it, this wasn't the huff we knew. Only one moment among many, though, no sooner was it there than it was gone. Spot flow, spot feel, spot colloquy, spot suffet our mood hung from. A sexual buzz, but for a moment, sex wasn't what it was. Our prayer, we'd have called it, our resolve early on, quaffed and conjoint polity, led by loins, led by what we took to be loin light, so Huff said, beside or beset by himself, brushed against himself, rubbed off on himself, smelling himself, Sophia said he was God, Sophia said, or a God. He would play dead when he lay dead, he would lay lifted on the way to the alchemic city, he would lead the way. A God's God, a God without God, she went on raving. Talk to be taken back later. In a subsequent life, they would meet as the crafters of Chem City. He would sit on a chair, she would straddle his lap, a certain smell would accrue between their stomachs. On the way to unbounded splendor, they would name it, the scent they would collect in vials too small to see, sweat so circumspect they'd float, sweats anointed, the politics of which at last be clear, a run of summoning so sublime they'd cross over. Labor's lot, leisure so etheric it would be, soon's everlasting address. Huff and Sophia, we fell back marveling, who'd have thought it? The erogenous Pradesh they lay imagining, or would one day lay imagining, hope's true country come true? Millenarian advice, millenarian receipt, huff having to do with wind and what wasn't there, dropped trousers, lifted skirt, millenarian love song, no matter it seemed otherwise, new blues and gospel on the box. If I had my way, the city, not yet alchemic, struck down. Mad at the world, he wanted to be dead to it. Some lost, light summoning provinces, bailiff, way made out of no ways architect etar pradesh the awaited expanse let slogan light lead the way he took to insisting no way would we not get there we chimed in the alchemic city the just world would be no way would things not fall apart on the way no way the parts not congregate and grow Music we could smell was afoot, funk one with flower, something like funk we could see. The lay of the lift lay upon us, a little sonance our reprise teased out, an alliterative leap it was, maybe all it was, romance to revolution, 
polity is reciprocal switch. Spot polity, we fell back, relieved or let down, fell back, unsure which. Gary, you ready to start with 247? If you unmute yourself, that would be outstanding. Gary, you haven't unmuted yourself. We're still, still can't hear you. You look good, though. <laughs> still, still, I'm going to ask you to unmute here because no one's I'll here. I'll leave you. it go, Paul, because I have to leave at 6. Okay, uh, Fred, I'll send the, uh, the link to the video that we have. Thanks for being here and uh, nice reading and um, good luck with the breathing. I hope it clears out in a good way. Thanks. Yeah. All right. Gary's unmuted now. And uh, third lay of the lifted. Mu 126 part. The Platonian clock lay ticking as we wound our way. Him revealing the time he and she were in Scotland. Buttery shortbread melting their lips. Craggy hills rolled everywhere as we saw the muse of his and her, her guises. Itamar's hand of honey, Nedumsat's cherubic feet. How far back were, how far back did were go? We, uh, we wondering how to know, but, but how not as much to riddle, all for the spark that may have lived only a moment moments knowing boom and bang as one what to say what to say we said what to say we knew not knowing itamar looking down at the at the drop that grew deeper me too shaken up to look so we said and so it went our climb a tight cloud our clouds feast of knowing fed by the spark we coaxed Strong congruity, thick with honey smells. Honey cut with lay must, un, unlaid drip incense. So it was we kept the platoonian dust at bay, blown skyward or some other way lifted. We were giving it a, a, if, a ifmic pen, uh, patina, whirl about to glow the edge we lived on, had had at by what? We flew from craggy terrain, inflated our feet. We floated, flipped upside down. This, the Itamarin School of Rescue, lesson one, reminiscent lift and release of the brink he rose, remembering Netanyahu. Vintage Itamar. Honey lace, loin lip, perfume up from erosion, up from scare, vintage boycat. Boquette there had been more of it than his to say, mystic amenity notwithstanding, we were upside down. A wider remedy might occur, he was hoping. Cast its skin, sent ward off disaster, intimate inner leg. And a depth handful. Cashier's one on the on, on one with big vintage Itmar. Nothing if not replete, well, not replete. Mojo man, a certain understanding in the air, hope, hoodoo, readiness, he called it, an edge. A, a wilder remedy with a world awry, world arrangement, world repair, world we paid attention to. Standing packed. Thus, the NMR School of Rescue, Lesson One, reminiscent lift and release on the brink. He rose, remember, net sanit, vintage, it's smart, honey lace, loin lit, perfume up from erosion, up from scare, vintage bouquet. There have been more of it. Ben, he says to say, mystic amenity notwithstanding, we were upside down. The platoonian clock was only one of them. 
the poverty clock ticked on, the world investment clock ticked on, the bits of body blown up clock ticked on. He felt wounded. He felt melodious. Melanie's wound recompense her flesh between his fingers and thumbs, a littering moment, as if that was all the wonder there was. Responding flesh between fingers and thumbs, a talisman. Who do, who do you love? Metaset was his inside side, hard outside, no side. Nothing more naked than the give of it. Desperate discontent. Block body, balloon body, so toward nothing it was, so not of the instant we found ourselves in. Upside down, afloat even so, all we could do was throw sound at it. Upside down, we bleated our lungs out. All the old acriments done, too late recruits all the same encroachments come again upstart feet above our heads. We were going nowhere, stout repose and whose grip we fell upon it seemed. Craggy terrain told us, tear it up. What came next was we were turning, tail we couldn't catch. We tore after revolutions, romance, unsustained when I had been to Virgil to it, it, to Itamar's Dante, had I had I my way, it might have been vice versa, which no matter either way had been had it been mine to say, I teased our confounding of lip and lay, fraught witness fell away, saw something tick pass, all or nothing it seemed, but Nanaset's name was an omelet against less than that, less than something we dreamed. So wrote rants, so wrote reasons, rhyme, rhymes, reason. If not all there was to it, mostly what there was to it. Back from no one could say when. Blanked out, blanked out who had been witnesses, picked off left and right, moments note, stolen, unsustained. So said Itamar, who knew, who have said he knew better. Butter would, wouldn't have melted in his mouth. Scotland was far away, another life, another planet, hills overhead. He sailed on. There it goes. And we got to part five, the last part of the book starts on the first poem starts on uh, 255. So we might be able to finish this in two weeks. Uh huh. Um, Fred took off. I was disappointed that Fred couldn't stay because um, there's there are references to Adam in some of the work we read tonight, Gary, before you got in. And um, Mackey is very much influenced by Robert Duncan. And Robert Duncan, in his letters, his book called Letters, which. Um, was uh, right around the time he started corresponding with Denise Levertov. Okay. He, he has plays on Adam, uh, Adam, A-D-A-M, Adam of Adam and Eve and A-T-O-M. And as you can imagine, in the 50s, the notion of atomic war was pretty mm -hmm. heavy. So the play on Adam and Adam and uh, and, and Fred Waugh knew Robert Duncan, um, um, was at the 1963 Vancouver Poetry Conference, so may have been able to help us out with that. Maybe he'll watch this video and give us some tips on that but um i'd open it up to anyone who has comments on it and uh, with the notion that i made little notes where um there's stuff musical references i got to put on the sonic perfume playlist oh. <laughs> anybody want to chime in I, I was sort of thinking a while ago not really today when we we're reading but i was you know, I was sort of daydreaming or thinking a while ago that this isn't really meant to be read aloud at all, that this is um, sort of an interior, like this is a sort of book you read for the interior, like to have it in, inside. And then maybe, you know, as you're suggesting, Paul, to have a, 
musical background or check out references. Um, I don't know, now I'm not sure why I was saying that. I should have written down like a note of like why exactly I was thinking that, but I was thinking like, um, you know how, okay, so music is written down, you know, like sheet, I was thinking like sheet music. This is kind of like, like reading sheet music or something like that. Like, Imagine. it's kind of like sounding out the notes, but it's not, it's not sort of what it's meant to be or something like that. Like, I don't know what I'm saying. It's sort of like a, or it's like a sketch that it's not really the real um, painting or the real like work of art. It's, it's, um, I don't know. It's like notate to me. It's like notations or something like that. The sheet mu music of the music that's going through Mackie's head that no one can hear. Right. No, I mean we nope. have words, right? We have language and words, and there it is. Of course, in a book, it's on paper, but um, I don't know. I mean, I. You know, even listening to him, it do, it doesn't really. Well, I'm, I am listening to his music, those those words. It's in, it's all in the language. It's all in the language. And so he he throws in these um these markers all the time. You know, these are cultural markers, really. You know that that he throws in. And so so if you can imagine that. Uh, that language that you know it's all it's all those rhythms and the inflections in it I just started to pick them up you know what he's doing and there's a lot of music in his mind so it's it is like it's it's like playing a horn yeah it's um you know the work itself is music in words mm -hmm. it's jazz in words and there's a lot of musical references so it's almost like when you're hearing somebody saying doing a solo on tenor and all of a sudden they give you a little piece of a monk tune or a little piece of a classical tune and it's like they're quoting different things um and uh, you know no one is going to be able to read it as well as Mackie maybe ever unless they really go to school on it they study it you know i was reading about a bass player i think she was born in 1984 she's playing on vj Iyer's new record uh she's a chinese heritage and she was playing, she took um, Dave Holland's bass solos, transcribed them and practiced them. So she, she has taken the bass player from the Miles, I think around Bitches Brew period, and right. she's taking his solos and she's, that's how she's learning how to play bass at a high level. She was born in like 1984 or something like that. So it's crazy. Mm -hmm. By the way, VJ Iyer, Uneasy, I highly recommend that record, um, I, I wrote a, at least one postcard poem about it. So, so the musical aspect of it is very, very thick and very, very real. And then one other thing that occurred to me when he was talking about a train leaving, I think it was leaving Florida and heading towards California. Um, this might be a reenactment of his early history because he was born in Miami and grew up in LA and then, of course, taught at uh, UC Santa Cruz for like 31 years before he headed back to uh, Carolina to teach at Duke when he got that real good gig. So I think the aspect that there's a lot of stuff from his youth that uh, a lot of personal myth, I think, that I'm not too aware of. But I do know the fact that he was born in Miami and raised in uh, Southern California. So um, there may be things that we're picking up. From his childhood and uh, you know abandoned by his father i think is is another uh personal myth thread that kind of comes up in different ways he talks about boys and girls who've been abandoned so that might be mm -hmm. allusions to that also he's adopted a couple of kids um and uh much older like me an older dad and so some kind of uh ability to relate to children who've been abandoned might be one of the sort of themes or interests of his life. I was looking back when you mentioned the Zen. Um, our Zen tutorial, the river running waterless, which I loved, I underlined that immediately. And then um, he follows that with everything counts, nothing adds up. 
And I think there, that sounds like the kernel of method coming out again. I mean, he says that several times, but I really like that because I really want to return to the river running water. I mean, he, you know, he talks about riding his bike over the river, et cetera, et cetera. That's not what it's about, but um, those few lines that are on page 236. And I think Susan and your co good comments about how this is sort of um, a sketch, almost an animation of lines for something that could be, you know, a full-blooded movie um, and is in his head. I was seeing, you know, like, you know, line animation when you said that. And I think there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, however we want to feel this flow of, of the music. Sometimes I just zone out and it's all music, Gary, as you know, that it's the music is just all there is happening here, which is wonderful. Um, other than that, I have no brains today. <laughs> Well, you're right. I was noticing too, um, sorry if I cut up, uh, if I'm interrupting somebody, but I was noticing too the, um, I guess, what, what are, I don't know, I'm not sure what that's called in poetry, the dangling, these, these are dangling words at, at the end of these stanzas, they're over to the right, they're just, they're single words that, um, you know, sort of, you could, you could also read them, you know, going down like an acrostic, mm -hmm. I think that's the term acrostic reading at the end. It's very fragmentary. Like it's, it's not a sentence or it's not a, um, you know, complete thought or thing, but I think that's just, I just really admire that. It's just so playful. And um, it, to me, it, it adds, you know, a lot for my eyes. Like this, this cannot, become sort of boring or something like that with these um, stanzas sort of all sort of looking the same, you know, they're in threes or, or fours. And then those, those words that dangle, then at the end, it's so, um, it's hard to read, but it, it's so, it's so interesting to, to look at. That's a comment from me. Yeah, and they're always monosyllabic words, or if they're double, if they're more than one syllable, he hyphenates them. I'm, I'm, it's an I'm, invitation to think further. Um, in fact, Joe, my husband, was just talking about how in old books, sometimes, you know, from centuries ago, there'll be a little half of a word down on the bottom of the page for the compositors to know which page is coming next. Um, some, you may have seen that in some old books. But it's very cool. There's a word for it that, of course, escapes me right now. But it's like, don't stop, you know, don't stop. Keep this. There's something coming, you know, look for it. Yeah, I also like how it just breaks up, how it looks visually on the page. Yeah, it's that's really nice. You know, I mean, you know, that you, you have to do something different than just left hand side, left justified, because that's what everyone does. So why not do something different? I mean, mm -hmm. That's certainly certainly drives Mackie to be uh, doing something different. Nobody's doing anything close to what he's doing. I don't think anyone's ever done anything close to what he's doing. So um, that why the, is that the reason the um, stanzas are in either threes or fours? Is that the jazz signature three, four time or something like that? Is that, is that how jazz is um, talked about? Is that, is that the thing or I'm thinking of something else? Well, no, I mean, there's diff many, many different approaches to jazz and, uh, you know, the, the three, th he's got, like, I'm looking on page 255, three, 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 four, three, three. So he's usually got uh, lines of three and not counting the, you know, the, the, the extra word, which would be a fourth line, a fourth line of one word. Um, but um, no, that's just, that's just the way it, um, comes out of his head, I guess, you know, um, it, it, for me, it's fascinating to hear him actually read it. And so he's not so hung up on exactly how it looks on the page. For example, page 255, um, a wood all were otherwise look spiked her nostrils, something seen in his face, an unlikely funk, but who could say where? So strange a phrase. I mean, you know, he didn't, he doesn't, pause even like I did there he just goes on 
to him it, it's not it's not exactly a score or if it's a score it's not to be read with such a fundamentalist kind of if it looks like right. that on the page mm -hmm. it's how it's supposed to sound he does not read it that way and you could see that when uh gary we started with a couple of poems that were from the city lights uh, before you came in so we watched him read the first two at city lights and mm -hmm. in the in the uh, chat i put the link to that city lights um video and you start at 1315 i'll put that in the um in the chat as well at 1315 into the tape um that's when he reads the first of the poems that we read tonight and the first two of the poems that we read tonight so if you want to go back and i didn't tape that because you know that's a copyright thing so, so um you were going to say something gary no no we're going to meet again two weeks from tonight then we're going to miss that first um monday in september because our our things got screwed up because of labor day and we moved a board meeting from the first monday to the next week and met reminded me it was a mackie night and i always try and get these reminders out earlier than the day of but splab is rebranding on september 1st and man i got my hands full okay. plus with all the postcards um plus with just trying to live an august life plus i'm planning a vacation starting next week ella's going out of the country for the first time there's a lot of shit's going down for me in a time where i like there to be not a lot of shit but of course i guess i planned this so it's my fault but um I, I really enjoy hearing you all read his work in your different voices i love hearing mackie through you all and this is this is just a real joy to me and to be able to take in work like this which is really fucking dense um in other people's voices and to just experience it as as a group is a real blessing so thank you for showing up thank you uh, all i agree yes uh, i could not do this by myself with any degree of pleasure that i'm getting now thank yeah. you all right y'all um next I'll time i get the link out um stay cool breathe breathe free and um, happy summer au revoir hey.